And now we have the best of the best. These are my picks for the top 10 cards from Kaladesh. So there are quite a few cards in Kaladesh that let you put plus one plus one counters on your creatures. At number 10 I've got Armorcraft Judge. This is a card that benefits from those counters. So when you play it, you get to draw a card for every creature you have with a plus one plus one counter on it. So mid game, late game, when you're low on cards, you can play this guy and basically your hand's replenished. At number 9 I've got Minister of Increase. So by tapping this card and paying one energy, you can force your opponent to take the top three cards from the library and put them to the graveyard. I don't play mill decks too too often, but this guy really makes me want to try it again. At number 8 we've got a 5 way tie with a fast lands. If you're planning on running a deck with 2 or 3 colors, you definitely want to have these guys in them. At number 7 we've got the combustible gear hulk. So not only is he a 6-6 six, six creature with first strike, but when you bring him out, you're going to force your opponent to either let you draw 3 cards, or else take an undisclosed amount of damage. At number 6 we've got another gear hulk. So for 5 mana, you can have an 8-8 eight, eight creature with trample here. So he's essentially a cheaper version of Force of Nature, without the drawbacks. At number 5 I've got Wildest Dreams. So this is the highest ranking non-creature card on my list. Uh, it's a really really powerful spell that lets you bring back a bunch of cards from your graveyard into your hand. There are absolutely no drawbacks to this card and you'd be crazy not to use this card if you're playing. At number 4 I've got Demon of Dark Schemes. So not only is he a 5-5 with flying, but when he comes into play he gives all creatures minus 2 minus 2 until end of turn. Additionally, he has the ability to bring back creatures from any graveyard into the battlefield under your control. So a crazy powerful creature, number 4. At number 3 I've got Dovin Ban. So this is the first Planeswalker we're seeing on the list so far, and I really really like him just because as soon as you get his emblem out, you've pretty much crippled your opponent. They can only untap 2 permanents a turn, and you've got a huge advantage from that point on. In the runner up position I've got Rashmi. So this is another card that's going to give you a huge advantage over your opponent. Uh, so worst case scenario, you get to draw a second card every turn into your hand. Uh, best case scenario, you play a card from the top of your deck directly into play for free. So once again, huge advantage over your opponent. So not much of a shocker here, but at number one I've got Chandra. So as soon as you get her out, you're going to be putting a lot of pressure on your opponent because they know as soon as you have her emblem, it's pretty much game over for them. Uh, you'll be able to do five damage to them with every spell you cast. Uh, super powerful card. Really deserves the number one spot here. So we got Chandra, my pick for the best card in the set. So overall, I'm really impressed with Kaladesh. There are a lot of really good cards. There's a bunch of different strategies I'm looking forward to trying out. This is the last Magic set we're going to see in 2016, and I think it's a really good way to end the year. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy the countdown, and we'll see you guys next time.